Hey, what's going on guys? I just wanted to make this quick video to just kind of run through my list of uh, solo-able games. Solo-able? solo Games that I can play solo. Um, just if there's any game that you would like me to play on the stream or, you know, record myself playing, I'll try to find some unique way of doing that. Maybe finding some kind of campaign or um, some kind of variant or something that might make it a little more interesting or I'll just play it as is. Um, but I just wanted to run through my list of games real quick and just uh, let y'all know what I have and if there's something that pops up that you might want to, you know, see me play and we will go from there, all right? So starting off with is uh, Gricola. Uh, I've never actually played this solo, but I know it has a solo mode, but I'd be more than happy to give it a whirl. Um, one of my all-time favorites is Arkham Horror. I would be happy to record playthroughs of this anytime. Um, I usually would leave this set up on the table for several days while I while I play through it. Um, I enjoy playing with two investigators only um, and seeing how far I can get doing that. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. I know there's a lot of people online uh, playing Arkham Horror um, for videos. So some really good ones out there. So. Um, so I haven't done it yet, uh, but I might in the future, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Next up we have Assault on Doom Rock. Um, this game is amazing. It is a great solo, solo experience. Um, it's out of print, or it's not out of print, but it's hard to get. Um, I actually just contacted the company on Facebook to see if I could get the Doom, the Doom Apocalypse expansion and where I could find it, and they actually said I could order it directly from them. Um, they gave me a price for Assault on Doom Rock and the expansion and all the promos shipped. Um, but they said the shipping could take one to two months, so I'm not sure how that works. But um, hopefully I'll have the expansion soon, but I'd be happy to play it without the expansion just to kind of uh, show you what it's all about. I guess the expansion adds quite a bit with um, some terrain and some other stuff. But it's a very unique game. Very fun, and I'd be happy to play it. And I'm going to move my camera up just a tad so you're not staring at my... There we go. Um, after that, we have Baseball Highlights 2045, which, of course, I'm already doing a series on using a solo campaign variant made by a BGG user, which is pretty fun. So you know what that one's all about. Bottom of the ninth. Um, haven't done this one yet. Would love to. I only have the base game. Um, I think maybe a couple expansions... Nothing big. Uh, I missed out on the new Kickstarter for um, the Clubhouse. I think it's called the Clubhouse uh, Bundle, but hopefully I'll be getting that at some point because it uh, truly is a great game. Um, the Cards of Cthulhu by DVG. Now, this one I'd be happy to play on stream or on stream on YouTube or video or whatever, uh, but I, I probably will wait till I get the expansion for this because the game is extremely easy without the expansion and I heard the expansion ramps up the difficulty um, but I also I don't mind playing it if it is easy so if it's something you think you want to see uh, I'd be happy to play it it's a very easy game to play very easy to, to learn and it plays pretty quick Clank a deck building adventure I have not played this solo I've played it many times with family uh, apparently it's really good solo with the app so that's something I'd be um, happy happy to play on the channel just let me know um, dark rock ventures is uh, a pretty awesome little game um, actually i'm friends with the designer so um, it's a little bit closer to my heart than, than most games but uh, the solo mode is actually really cool and it's really hard so i'm definitely going to play this on the channel uh, sooner rather than later just so i can show it off to all you guys because it truly is a fun fun game dark rock ventures Uh, Dawn of the Zed's third edition, um, one of my top five solo games probably. Never actually made a list, but I think um, this could be right up there. Uh, definitely a fun, fun game, and it's one that I can keep on my table for several days or weeks at a time while I just keep coming back to it and playing it. Um, Deep Space D6 is a small, a small box game. Uh, plays pretty quick. I'd be happy to play that sometime. Maybe uh, several small box games in one session or something. Um, Dresden Files. If you are a fan of Harry Dresden and um, 
his world. I think I'm currently on book five or six. I can't remember um, of actually reading the books. And then, uh, but this game is actually super, super I don't know, I, and I, actually, it, it really is super, super fun um, to play solo. It plays really quick. It's very simple to learn. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing that one on on the channel for you guys. Dungeon Roll, great, fast little dice game. Uh, dungeon Crawl, going through Dungeon Roll and some dice. Um, super fun game. Firefly, now this does have a solo mode. Um, I generally don't play it solo, but I would be happy to. It's a awesome game. I love this game so much. Playing with friends, especially with friends that are fans of the series, but I've even played it with some that aren't, and everyone seems to enjoy it. Um, be happy to play it solo online. There's actually a whole solo campaign that somebody made on BGG that, I, you know, maybe someday I will take that for a spin um, and see see how it goes. This is one of the games that's a little bit bigger, so maybe harder to fit on the table. We'll have to try it out and see. Uh, of course, First Martians, the big game by Ignacy this year uh, by Portal Games. Awesome, awesome game. A little bit hard to get into, a little bit hard to understand what's going on. Once you get it, um, I really do think it's a good game. Um, it may be a little bland, a little boring, kind of pushing cubes around, but if you kind of immerse yourself in the story, um, then it's uh, it's fun. Flatline. This is not the sequel, but, well, sort of the sequel to another game that will come up here pretty soon, Fuse. It's a very fast-paced duck, duck, duck chucking. Yeah, you duck, you duck chucks in this. Chuck ducks. Uh, dice chucking game. Uh, there's a timer. It uses the same Renegade app that they use for Clank and for Fuse, which you'll see in a bit. And I believe Lanterns, too, is part of that companion app. So this is Flatline. Um, Friday. I do have a copy of Friday. I don't play it that often anymore but uh, I have one so if you'd like to see me play that hey give me a holler um, here's fuse again um, this was the first one before flatline uh, super fun game you're trying to disarm bombs by rolling dice again a fast-paced 10 minute game really frantic rolling dice as quick as you can that is fuse the game uh, this game is really fun and solo, I mean, solo is maybe not as fun. It's just kind of a card game. You throw it down, throw your cards out as you can, and you go. Um, it really shines with more, with, I think, with two players. But um, but I'd be happy to show it off and play it solo if you'd like to see it. Um, Gears of War just recently came into my collection not too long ago. Um, a really, really fun, fun game. I have not played it nearly as much as I want to. I may only have uh, two plays of it. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, playing through this one on the channel. Hoplomachus Origins, of course. You know, probably my favorite game uh, as of right now. Um, I will play this anytime, but I'm already doing a series on it, so you probably don't really need to see me play it anymore. Imperial Settlers, another game by Ignasi. Um, another good one. The campaign mode is so fun in this. It's so good. Um, I'm looking forward to definitely trying that on the channel as well. Um, Labyrinth, The War on Terror. I've actually, this has been on my shelf for several months. Uh, I've cracked it open a couple times, gotten scared, put it back in the box. So one of these days I will play this. Um, maybe I'll live stream it and you guys can help me out. Um, but one day I will play it. I will get it to the table. I'm looking forward to it because I've heard nothing but great things about this game. So... Hopefully soon. Um, Legendary Encounter Aliens. It's a great, great game. Super hard. At least when I played it before. Um, I have not actually played it solo yet. I've played it two player and four or five player. Um, really, really fun. So I'm looking forward to playing this solo. So I can check out the solo rules for it. Um, of course, Marvel Legendary. I have a few expansions for it. Um, the Captain America, Deadpool, I think, are the two, maybe two that I have for it. I might have another one, but a super fun game. 
Um, I'd love to play this one on the channel and just have a fun time goofing around with my favorite superheroes. Mage Knight. Now, I may play this on the channel if you guys want to see it. I'll do it. Um, I don't get it to the table often, and there's a lot of people that have amazing videos of this game on YouTube already. Um, but, you know, if I get it to the table sometime, I'll turn the camera on, play through it, so we can see what's going on. Um, Energy Empire Manhattan Project. Um, I originally got this game to play it solo. Um, I think I played it solo once or twice. It's actually a really good solo experience. I just started getting a plethora of other solo games in and haven't really gotten back to it. So I am looking forward to playing this solo once again on the channel. Mentions of Madness 2nd Edition. I don't know if I'll play this on the channel. One big reason is spoilers. I don't know how many people actually want to see the the stories as they unfold. Um, plus it's, you know, it's a really fun solo game, but I actually enjoy this more with people as you go through the story together. So I kind of try to save those um, stories for when I play it with people. But again, I'd be happy to play it if it's something you want to see. Mice and Mystics. Uh, I would play this solo. I'm actually playing through it with my family right now, which is super exciting. It's the whole reason I got it was I wanted a game that uh, my 8 and 12 year old could enjoy. And my wife and I could play through it and we could all play it together as a family. So that's currently what we're doing with Mice and Mystics, but you can play it solo as well. One Dick Dungeon, another quick uh, dice chucking game. Uh, really, really fun. It's gotten actually really popular the last couple months, so you've probably heard of it by now. But if you want to see me play it, I'll go play it. Next is Ottoman Sunset. This may have been one of the first solo only games that I bought. Um, may still be the only solo only game that I have. I'm not sure. But. It is an amazing, an amazing game. Um, a good introduction to the States of Siege system um, by Victory Point. Um, same type of system that Dawn of the Zeds uses, but Dawn of the Zeds kind of ramps it up a whole bunch. But I'm definitely going to play this on stream at least once because uh, it's a fantastic game. Um, I have Pathfinder Adventure Card Game, Rise of the Rune Lords, and uh, Wrath of the Righteous. Again, both amazing games, cool campaign modes, very, very long uh, campaigns if you uh, want to go through it. Robinson Crusoe, again, it's a game I'll set up on the table. I'll leave it on the table for three or four days while I play some scenarios, just because it takes you know a while to get out, set up, break down. So it's one that I, I try to leave on the table for a little while. So, But I will always play Robinson Crusoe. If you want it, I'll do it. Scythe. It's Scythe. The Automa is amazing. Um, I love playing this against the Automa. It's really, really fun. So I'd be happy to play Scythe for you all. Space Alert. Another Vlada Ch Chavadal. I think I said that right. Vlada Chavadal game. Same guy that, of course, designed Mage Knight. Uh, Space Alert is a high stress, fast paced, tense programming game with a mp3 file playing in the background telling you where threats are coming from as you're trying to manipulate um, your little guys on the spaceship so i'm definitely going to be doing this one real soon spires is a card game i recently kickstarted uh, has a solo mode it's actually really fun so i'm definitely going to show that off starcade again is a uh, yeah let's zoom this out a little bit here There we go. Yeah. Starcade is another game I recently kickstarted. It's a really, really small box. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. It's a little just a little uh just a little dice game. Arcadey like. Kinda reminds me of Galaga. Um but yeah, I'm definitely gonna play that on stream as well, because it's a fun game. Super hot the card game. Again, another one I recently kickstarted, came in a couple months ago. Um, definitely want to get this one at the table on the stream uh, very soon. Show it off a little bit. It's actually really fun. Terraforming Mars. Actually, I haven't played this solo in a little while. I played it solo when I first got it several times, and then I actually played it a lot with people. Got maybe burned out on it a little bit, but uh, I recently picked up the expansion, the two new boards, 
So I'm going to get to the table again here pretty soon. Uh, Thunderstone Advance. I have a ton of content for this game. Um, I think the... Let's see, I'm looking up at it right now. The Worlds Collide and the... The... The Ruins one, the first Thunderstone Advance um, one that came out. And then I think I have maybe five or six expansions as well. So this is a, a deck builder of all deck builders. Um, you build you build up your deck and you upgrade um, you know, the heroes you have in your deck. And you buy weapons and you buy armor and spells and go into a dungeon and, and kill monsters. So definitely a super fun game and i'll be getting it getting to it real soon tiny epic galaxies this is a fun one to play just real quick whip it out get a quick solo game tiny epic quests i am definitely going to get this one to the table real soon it's kind of new i uh, haven't gotten a whole lot of play with it but i'm looking forward to it too many bones yep this one will be coming very soon um again it's by the same guys that made hoplomachus uh, too Many Bones is... Actually, I owned Too Many Bones before I got Hoplomachus. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, we just can't wait to play it for you guys and and show it to show it off. Uh, Warfighter. Um, Warfighter Modern is the one I have. The one pictured here. Um, I actually have the big footlocker box with all the expansions. So there's actually a cool campaign mode in this that's rather hard. Um, there's also scenarios in a book. So maybe I'll go through one of those two things with Warfighter. Warhammer Quest. I uh, haven't played this actually in a little while. Uh, it's out of print now. I have my copy. And I actually have, I think, over 100 cards that were custom made on the BGG forums that I had sent out and printed. Um, and they, I think they add six new quests or scenarios or whatever using these new cards and monsters and stuff. So definitely going to be getting this one to the table soon. And last but not least, we have Zombicide and Toxic City Mall for Zombicide. Uh, this one's a big one to get to the table, but like everything else I said, I'd be happy to throw it up on the table. There's just a ton of YouTube videos on Zombicide. The guys at Crit Camp do it all the time, and they do the best job with it. So uh, I may not even consider doing it at all just because of how well they do with it, and I got so much other stuff I can do. So, But if you want to see me play it, hey... I will play Zombicide. So that's my current list of solo games, I believe. Um, a couple I did not put on there are Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, just because you can't really uh, you want to watch me read for, you know, two hours. Um, I do have the um, Voyage of the Beagle expansion for Robinson Crusoe. Could go through that. Um... I recently got Hero Dice Flash, which is a solo like dice game. So it can play that. Um, some write and rolls, Octo Dice, Dice Stars. Um, those probably won't be very exciting to watch. Uh, I don't know what I have coming in. Um, Mechs vs. Minions will be here tomorrow. But I'll probably play that with my son. And then, yeah. I think that's about all that for now. Until I get the other Hoplomachus games. I don't really know of much else to get right now but as soon as i get something i'll let you know but again anything on this list you want to see me play just holler in the comments and uh i'll get it to the table as soon as i can all right talk to you guys soon